Welcome back, everybody. Well, we're really happy to have this next comedian. Please put your hands together for Ken Rogerson. Hi, how are you? Good. <laughs> It's great to be here. This, of course, was a dream when I started comedy to work you know, anywhere in the Arlington area. <laughs> <laughs> a, month, a couple months ago, I was at the Mohegan Sun with Dennis Lear in front of 10,000 people, but this, this is just as good. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm kidding you. It's great to be here. I don't know if Steve mentioned, I had the honor uh, a while back to go over, overseas and entertain our troops for about a month. So if you could give them a round of applause for me, wouldn't mind. And I bring that up to remind us that people are still there. And to illustrate, sometimes really smart people ask you stupid questions, right? Talking to a friend of mine, brilliant guy, CEO of a major company. He says, what do you got coming up? I said, well, I'm doing the Rescue Me comedy tour with Dennis Lear. But before that, I'm going to Iraq and Afghanistan. My friend says, oh, to entertain the troops? No, I, I saw a brochure. <laughs> you know how crowded Maui can be at certain times of year. I thought, what's a similar place but cheaper? And of course, you know, Iraq popped right into my head because you've all seen the ads. Visit sunny Iraq and stroll our sand-covered sand. <laughs> I feel good, although I'm getting older. I, my brain is still 22. My body is telling me different things now. Like, remember you were a kid and you'd get out of bed in the morning and you would just spring into action ready to play? I get up now. For about the first 10 or 15 minutes, it, it sounds like I'm walking on bubble wrap. <laughs> There's just this hideous, ow, ow, ow. How did I pull the ass muscle sleeping? I gotta quit dreaming about running. I'll tell you what's a wake up call for as far as getting older. Last year when Steven Tyler, lead singer for Aerosmith, fell off the stage, that just depressed the hell out of me because that's, that's not something you see coming. You know, no one 22 is at a rock concert looking at the front man going, oh yeah, one day my rock heroes will be so old they'll be falling down. We'll just replace that skull and crossbones necklace with a life call alert pendant. <laughs> I've fallen off the stage and I can't get up. My roadies couldn't locate me. Had it not been for the life call alert pendant, I would still be at the venue. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what's next? Mick Jagger in a hover round? <laughs> Jumping Jack Flash. <laughs> Somebody told me Jimmy Buffett fell down last year. Jimmy Buffett. I understand Steven Tyler, he runs all around the stage. Jimmy Buffett just stands there. Is he just so old now his skeleton won't hold him up anymore? <laughs> I blew out my flip. <laughs> And felt my spine pop. <laughs> yes, now I'm just stalling. Because the hardest part of that joke is getting back up. <laughs> oh, I broke the stage. That's going to cost. Oh, man. I'll tell you, it's hard to stay healthy. Because, you know, I look out the window on a day like today, I think, man, I could go for a run. Or... <laughs> I could put on TV and watch others run <laughs> while I eat Ben and Jerry's. And I hate running, and I love Ben and Jerry's, so it's a no-brainer. I've had the same running shoes now for about seven years, uh, but I have worn out spoons. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably bad for a guy. Speaking of being healthy, did you know this? I just read this online. Walmart is now supposedly going to have medical clinics in their stores. Walmart. Medical clinics. Yeah. That'll be some quality health care there, won't it? Yeah. Dr. Jimmy used to be a greeter. But after 20 years of the company, we promoted him right up there to doctor. Man has paid his dues. Try to remember this. No matter how bad you have it, someone else has it worse. If you don't believe me, just put on TV. Because that's what TV's become. 800 channels of, well, at least I'm not those people. 
I watched this show called Hoarders. Have you seen this show? Yeah. Can I be honest with you? I would rather be a heroin addict than a hoarder. Because a heroin addict has far more room to move around his apartment because he has sold all his stuff to buy heroin. <laughs> you want to help out these hoarders, send four or five junkies to live with them. <laughs> I promise you in a month that place will be empty. <laughs> There won't be any hinges on the door, no copper, what, just no, nothing but a mattress and some bent-handled spoons. And of course, the junkies themselves, as they tend to stay once they find a warm spot. <laughs> I thank you all for having me over. Yay. How are we doing, Steve? Ken Rogerson, everybody. How about it? We'll be right back right after this. I want to, I want to, I want to. 